Masters Vessel Classical Academy, Primary Section. On the Roll. Once again, you're welcome to our today's lesson. I am your teacher for today on agricultural science. I am taking basic five and six. The topic we'll be treating today is farm records. Farm records. It's expected that at the end of today's lesson, that the objectives are, the first objective should be, you'll be able to define farm record. You will be able to define farm record. The second objective is that you will also be able to mention the types of farm record. You will be able to mention the types of farm records. And the third objective expected at the end of this lesson is that you will be able to make a sketch, at least a sketch, of any of the types of farm records. I said our today's topic is farm records. And as you hear, I've enlisted the objective to be achieved at the end of the lesson. In our previous class, we've learned about farm produce. Farm produce are those things that are gotten from our farms, like potato, tomatoes, onions, cabbage, cassava, even animals. They are all farm produce. So in our today's lesson, we want to look at the meaning of farm records and the types of farm records. What is a farm record? Okay, I would like you to read what is on the chalkboard. I said that a farm record is a record where all the activities that take place in a farm is recorded. Everything that happens in the farm is expected to be in a farm record. Now we have about eight types of farm records. Having known the meaning of a farm record, that it is a book, it is a document, where everything that happens in a particular farm is written down within a specific period of time. Now we move to the next step, which is the types of farm record. And I said, we have eight types of farm record. We have eight types of farm record. We have eight types of farm record. The first one is 
farm dairy. Can I hear you say it? Farm dairy. That's the first one. Farm dairy. Farm dairy. The second one is, the second type of farm record is known as farm inventory. Farm inventory. This is the second one. The third one, we can say is called production accounts. Production accounts. We also have one of the, another of the types that is we call consumption accounts or consumption records. Consumption accounts. We also have another one, sales accounts. Sales accounts. And the sixth one, the sixth one is known as profit and loss account. Profit and loss account. We also have labor records. We have labor records. We also have the last one, computer added account or computer added farm records. All right. These are the eight types of farm records. So, all these things, they are all types of farm records, but they are not the same. They don't do the same thing. They don't have the same function in the farm. Now, we'll start with number one, farm dairy. A farm dairy is a book that has all details of daily activities. Anything that happens in a day, a particular day, it starts in a day and ends in a day. It starts in the morning. By evening, you're concluding and you're submitting your, your farm diary. That one is farm diary. The cells, that particular day, the cells, how many cells were made, how many people came, were there laborers, what was their work, and all that. They will all come on the farm diary. So we say farm diary is a type of diary where you record or a farmer records all activities within a particular day. That is farm diary. Then farm inventory. Go to the next one. A farm inventory. A farm inventory is another type of record where you record your assets and your liabilities. You ask me what is an asset. It's a, it's a type of record. A farm inventory is a record where a farmer records those things that are owned by him, those things that are originally the, the, the farm's own. The farm, maybe let's assume this is a farm, this is a type of farm where you have a section for animals, you have a section where you keep your goats, your farm crops and all that. Then, in that place, you now see that you borrow some of the items. You borrow the goods that you use there. Like the tractors, you may borrow a tractor or a wheelbarrow or a hoe or any other thing you use there. Those ones you borrowed, they are liabilities. They are not your own. But the ones that are assets are the ones that are your own. I know some of you are at home. Your mommies and daddies, they own a small portion of land where you do one farm or the other. In that kind of place, you discover that 
In the morning, your mommy wants to go to the farm. She goes to the backyard, she picks her hoe, and she goes to the farm. The hoe she picks is her own. It's an, it's an asset. She uses her money to go to the market and buy things for sales. The money she is using is her own. But for those that do commercial agriculture, those people that deal on hectares of land, kilometers of land, those ones, they borrow. Like, someone may not even have enough money to own a tractor. So the person has to borrow in order to be able to do a larger work. That's how you say we have this items now that you borrowed or your parents borrowed to do their work are recorded onto in farm inventory. And this thing takes place within a beginning of a farming period to the end of a farming period. Then we go to the third one. The third one here is production accounts. The production account has to do with everything that is produced in the farm within a specified period of time. Everything that takes place in the farm, everything I know that, that is produced there within that period of time is seen in the production account. You, how many eggs? How many animals do we have? How many of them get birth? How many babies or kids do we have there? How many eggs? How many cells? And all that. Everything comes under production <laughs> account. Now let's quickly look at, we'll stop at these three. In our next class, we'll start from the fourth one to the eighth one. But today we've looked at the meaning of farm records. We've looked at the types, about eight of them. And we've looked at at least three out of the eight. And I tell you that in the next class, we'll complete the rest. And let me quickly give you something to do at home. What is a farm record? First of all, what is a farm record? It's an account of everything that takes place in a farm within a specific period of time. That's good. Okay. How many types of farm records do we have? We have about eight. That's correct. And mention or explain the three that we have mentioned today. We talked about the, the first one, farm diary, and we talked about farm inventory, and we talked about production account. We'll stop here. Now give, let me give you what to do at home. Okay, we've come to the end of today's lesson. Once again, it has been me, your auntie, okay, peace. Stay safe and God bless you.